Welcome back to Get Google Ready for 2024, which is the playlist where I take you through how to set up and optimize all of the campaigns you'll need for success in 2024. And in this lesson, I'm gonna be taking you through how to optimize your display campaigns in Google. Now we're gonna jump into a screen share very, very soon. And throughout that screen share, I'll be referencing my Google Ads optimization checklist. And this is a checklist which has recently been updated to include how to optimize your display campaigns. And what it does is it not only shows you the different tasks that you need to complete, it also lets you know how often those tasks need to be completed. So with all that said, let's get straight into a screen share so I can show you how to correctly optimize your display campaigns for more results and more conversions in 2024. Let's go. So this is the Google Ads optimization checklist. Now, if you don't have your own copy, you can follow the link in the description below to get your own copy so you can see exactly how to optimize your display campaigns. And it also does show you the actions you need to complete for your search and your performance max campaign. Campaign. So if you want to get access to this template, just follow the link in the description below. So what I'm going to be showing you through today is I'm going to be showing you through, we'll firstly go through how to review these audience insights for display. So that's where we're going to be reviewing the audiences and also reviewing where the ads have shown. And then I'll also take you through the split testing process for display campaigns. And just before I go through and do that, just to confirm with the sheet, the way that we do use it is that if you do make any optimization actions, you can just make the notes over in this section. What I also also recommend as well as if you create a duplication of this sheet you can then build it out by the different months so you could have you know obviously November December January February by the end of the year you'll have 12 months of optimization notes which is really really handy for you to come back and reference what you've been optimizing throughout the year of Google Ads all right let's jump into display so the first place you want to be going to and remember we're first going to be taking you through reviewing your audiences that have converted and adding them into your campaign now for this one because this is a remarketing campaign and I'll show you in three here we're sending this through to our card abandoners previous customers and also customers that haven't created any actions so I'm not going to be able to add in any extra audiences because what we're doing here is we're only marketing to people who have already seen our ads or seen our website before but the way that you would go to do that if you're using display to outreach to new customers where you'd be going is going to your insights tab and then what you'd be looking at through here now obviously this is going to make sense that we're only seeing the audiences that are converting once again because it's only a there and if there's any audiences in this conversions tab what you can do is you just copy them and then what you do is go into your audiences keywords and content audiences and then once you've copied them you would add them into this section here in the audience segments you go edit audience segments and then you go through select the ad group so if we were going to put it into this one we would then add it into there so obviously we're not gonna do that because I said that this is a remarketing campaign, but that's the process that you go through to go through and add any audiences that have conversions to your campaign or ad group. The next part is I wanna show you where you review where your ads have shown. Now, the reason for why you do this is that we know with like search campaign or shopping campaigns, we build out negative keyword lists to stop our ads showing for search terms, which are spending money, but not providing any conversions. For a display campaign, it's all about placements. So what we wanna do is we wanna go through, have a look where our ads are showing and remove any of those websites or apps where we're spending money with no conversions. So the way that you go through and review where your ads have been shown, so it's under the insights section, so in insights and reports, where and where ads are shown. And what you need to do is you then need to go over to where ads have been shown. And then from there, we just go through and have a look at the data of where we've been getting conversions. Now, what you can do in here is you can go down to your rows and increase the rows so you can see more things from here. Now, what I've done initially is I've put a placement in so that we can just see our performance on apps. So the way that you would do that is that you'd go into to placement and just type in app. Now, the reason why I do this is I found in my experience with Google Ads, especially when you're targeting products for adults, I call it the cafe effect where and if you've ever been to a cafe, you'll see parents, they'll hand their phone over to their children and then they'll see your ads because it's targeting the adult, but it's actually the kids seeing the ads. So what I go through very, very quickly and do is if you go through and filter it down by cost is I'm usually pretty aggressive on cutting anything out that I don't think will be relevant. So the way that you would just go through and do this is is, you know, you can just select them all and then unselect them, the ones that you want to keep, or you can just go through the list and really just quickly go through and have a look at any ones where you just don't think are relevant and you're not going to be getting any conversions. So from there, once you've selected them, I've just selected three for, for the purposes of this example. And what you do is you then go through, you can either exclude them from the campaign or exclude them from the ad group. Obviously the difference being is whether you just exclude
including it on the individual ad group or the, the total campaign. But we're gonna exclude these from the campaign. And then you can see here, this little notification comes up that these three placements have been excluded. So we've already now gone through two of the actions. So we've checked our audiences. We've added converting audiences into our campaign. We've also reviewed where ads are showing. We're cleaning up the placements to, so that we're spending more money on the websites and the apps that are giving us conversions. And the last thing I wanna show you through in this one, there are more actions, but these are just the top three that I'm gonna show you through, is how to review and add in um, some split tests for your display campaigns. Now, I'm gonna take you into here. We're just gonna go into one of the ad groups, go into this one, which has got the most traffic. And then when we go into the ads, you can actually see this is an account that we've just recently taken on and they don't have any split tests set up. So what we would do through here is that we wanna go through and copy the ad. Then once it's copied, you'll see in here, you paste it. Now you will see this warning where it says if ad or exists in the destination, create a duplicate. So while that's loading, I'll just talk you through what we're looking at doing here. So what we're wanting to do is that when we have duplicated the ad, we want to then run a test with some different headlines and ad copy or images as well. And we want to then see which one is performing better. So what once this split test has been set up, what we're then doing is that we'd be reviewing the click through ratio and the conversion rate. And if say 30 days from now, this new ad that we're testing with new images and new headlines is giving us, you know, 2% better click through ratio and a 1% better conversion rate, we would obviously pause this existing ad, duplicate the winning ad and then repeat the process. So the way that we go through and do that is that we go through, I would update some of these headlines and I'll also go through and update some of these images. And that's how you go through and complete that split testing process for display campaigns. And that is how you go through and optimize your display campaigns. Thank you again for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. And if you wanna go through and watch all of the videos in my Get Google Ready playlist so that you can have the best results in Google Ads for 2024, just go through and watch this playlist right here. Once again, thanks for joining me. See you next time.